What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Boston Red Sox versus Kansas City Royals. Major League Baseball matchup going down Friday, July 12, 2024. And just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. Also, make sure you check out my 2024 Major League Baseball Grand Slam season pass. It's for the betters that are betting $1,000 or more per game on Major League Baseball this season. What it's going to get you access to, though, is the waiting and rating of my plays for the first time. You're going to know where my biggest bets on the board are. It's also going to get you access to my nerfies and yerfies and my first five plays, as well as plays I make throughout the day, based on things like line moves, money moves, pitching changes, and lineup changes. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, and that's the kind of bankroll that you're working with, text Grand Slam to 443-780-5663, and we'll get you some more information. But let's get to this one between the Boston Red Sox and the Kansas City Royals. The Boston Red Sox, no starter confirmed. I have seen Josh Winkowski listed as, as a starter in a couple of spots. This would normally be his spot in the rotation to follow up Tanner Houck. On the other side, you've got uh, the uh, Kansas City Royals, pardon me, sending out Cole Raggins for the start in this one. And, you know, the thing about Cole Raggins is that he is arguably one of the best options that the... Uh, that the uh, the Kansas City Royals have in that rotation. I mean, he's he was expected to be one of their better pitchers this season after a great tenure in 2023 towards the back end once he was acquired. Um, but the thing about Raggins is that while the ERA is similar home and away, you know, very, very close on the road, a 3.04 ERA, is, his ERA is actually better, but at home, a 3.49 ERA. The fact of the matter is, like the Kansas City Royals, for Raggins, the wins have been more frequent at Coffin Stadium. The Royals have been one of the best home teams in baseball this season, but the problem for Reagans has been pitching on the road, not by his fault. I mean, he's been, like I said, been pitching well, but you look at the game logs for, for Reagans in his road starts. The Royals, despite how well Reagans has pitched at 3.04 ERA, are just 1-7 in, in Reagans' eight road starts this season. A lot of that has to do with the fact that the Kansas City Royals, just for whatever reason, struggle on the road. They've given Raggins less than two and a half runs of support on average in, in his road starts this season. They've given him three runs of support or less in seven of eight road starts. Ironic, well, I guess not coincidentally. All, all seven of those games where they gave him three runs of support or less, all losses for the Royals. Now they got to go into Boston. Take, even in a hitter-friendly ballpark with this lineup, I couldn't see them struggling here. On the other side of the coin, you have the Boston Red Sox, who sent in Josh Winkowski out, but... You know, I don't expect much support here from, from the Red Sox either because the Red Sox in the month of July against left-handed pitching, second worst in baseball in Team OPS, a 36.6% strikeout rate is second highest in baseball, hitting just 170 against lefties in the month of July. And it's with a decent size amount of plate appearances. 101 plate appearances is top 10 biggest sample size in baseball in the month so far. So for me, I just think this is a spot where this could just be two ineffective offenses going back and forth. Like I said, we've seen a lot of games where Reagans has been on the mound on the road and the games have finished around seven runs or less. I could see a 4-3 kind of game here, you know, or, or something around that range. So I'm going to take the under nine between the Royals and the Red Sox, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're pick dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.